Now, you might be asking yourself, who is this crazy man in a gas mask in his living room? And that's not me, uh, although any given Saturday it could be. Um, it is the Yamix. Now, Yamix commented on a video of mine watching his video, and I love the interaction. Yamix has... 100,000 subscribers, and in this video, I had kind of a rant. If you missed this video, I highly recommend this video, and I had a, a rant about big boy pants and and games that hold your hand and what the, you know, elite dangerous kind of gamer it, it has become, okay? Now, Yamix it, it is very into elite dangerous, but he didn't really mention elite dangerous in this video, and I think he was upset that I talked about it. In fact, I know he was. <laughs> because down below here is a comment from the Yamex. Um, by the way, well, let's let's get into this a little bit. Let's read this. Uh, this is a very long comment, uh, but we are going to go through this and dissect it. First off, I did heart the the, the comment because I appreciate people that have uh, balls and that speak up, and I appreciate people that 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 want to have conversations, and I appreciate. Um, the, the ability to stand up for oneself, right? Because I'm just reacting to videos, and I, I have no filter. I'm just saying the way I feel when I talk. I, I believe that's what is considered entertainment. <laughs> if, if you're sitting there watching somebody who, who is filtered and, and, and really doesn't have an opinion, uh, what are you doing <laughs> with your life? <laughs> so the Yamaks replied to this video. And in this video, because he talks about Star Citizen and how many bugs there are and a lot of the bad things about Star Citizen, it, it is biased, okay? Um, and somebody, some people could say that about me with Elite Dangerous. I've played Elite Dangerous a long time, and some people say, well, you're biased against Elite Dangerous. I am now because of what David and, and Frontier Development have done. Yeah, I'm very biased against them now. Uh, but I was actually for the project years ago, and then they just effed it up. Anyway, the Yamek says to my video of of reacting to his content, uh, right, a low-effort react video that borders on stealing content. Now, okay, now let me just say this right now. In my react videos, I don't sit there and just do faces, Okay, in my react videos, I hate react videos. Let me just get that off my chest here. I hate that. I hate react videos. I hate what they do for the fucking genre of, of content creation. But let me just be very clear about something. My react videos, right? Number one, are crediting the person of the of the person that I'm watching, which you know, 90% of react channels do not do. Two, when I am reacting to a video. Dudes, it's more me than the fucking video. People can't stand the fact that I pause the video every fucking second and talk all over it, okay? Because <laughs> that's what I do. I'm opinionated, and I talk over it. So let's look at the original video's time length, and let's just see if what he's referring to, uh, the low low effort react video, by the way. He, he called my video a low effort react video. This is a 34-minute video, by the way. A 34-minute video. Let's go see what his video length is real quick here. Okay, Yamix, you have a 19-minute video. <laughs> Let's do the math here. Hold on one second. He has a 19-minute video. All right. A 19-minute video. Uh, what? Well, no. Actually, what we want to do is correct math here. <laughs> correct math. Uh, here we go. Let's start here. Uh. <laughs> We have a 34 minute and 23 second video. Let's just say 34 minutes. We have a 34 minute. Okay, there's there's the length of my video. Okay, Yamix, there's there's the length of my video. Now now uh, I'm a professional at math here, and you have a 19 minute video. So let's see here, how how many minutes different is that? That's 15 whole minutes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so his, <laughs> so, okay, 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 so, <laughs> all right, 
So I have a low effort React video when my video is just as long as his video, if you do the math, like his was 19 minutes. And if you cut out his video from my video, there's 15 minutes. Not big difference, not a big difference in the time there, but okay. Okay, so it's bordering on stealing content because apparently in the 15 minutes different that my video is longer, there's no content in any of my opinions at all, apparently. All right, or at least some would call this manner of video making. I personally don't care too much. A minimum amount of commentary is there, and frankly, it's all good with me. A minimum amount of commentary is there, guys. <laughs> I would love to see other React channels. I wouldn't, actually, because I can't stand them. But I would love to see other React channels that have reactions that are almost as long as the video that they're watching. <laughs> Yeah, it is funny. It is funny, isn't it, Pepe? It's funny. Um, he doesn't care too much, though, because it's a minimum amount of commentary. Uh, I mean, Jesus. The fact that he can't even disseminate the, the difference right there in the time makes me, like, wonder what the fuck, but okay. Frankly, it's all good with me, though. But as with most things, I prefer to see more effort. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, you burnt me there. You burnt me there, Yamix. Uh, so you got my okay at the very least as today's subject. Okay. So here's some content and thoughts. One, no, this is my accent. <laughs> okay, that is funny. Because I said, dude, like his accent seems very accentuated. Like he's over trying the, the accent, you know? Like it, it just seems way too overly expressed. Again, my opinion, that low effort commentary that I give. Uh, it's shit. I know. He says, welcome to being me. Well, good. At least he's self-deprecating. I like the self-deprecating humor on that. I do. I have to applaud that. Good job, Yamix, on that. I appreciate that. I love self-deprecating humor. Uh, second, yes, I started out making serious long-term stuff for Planet Side 2. Uh, oh, so he, he's he's letting everybody know he's, he's really known for Planet Side 2. I actually know... Um, him from Elite Dangerous. I didn't know he got into Planet Side 2 at all. My rig is called the Norse Ripper. Absolute full specs uh, you can see in two videos. Okay, yeah, because I was wondering what the hell system he was using because the, the, the frame rates were ridiculously low and he was bitching about it in Star Citizen. And I'm like, how can somebody with 100,000 subscribers have a shit system, you know? Um, fourth, he has a bias towards ED. Uh, fuck no. Apparently, I said he has a bias towards ED, and he says, fuck, no, he does not. And, and by bias, I mean a positive bias, you know. <laughs> he says he doesn't. Um, I have bias towards FPS games, but here I think you imply that due to my familiarity with ED or other game codes, my emotional experience with SC, uh, C as a POS critic, I make sure to, <laughs> to separate my personal likes and dislikes and preference when presented with different work. I like that. I get annoyed with SC because it just fails to even work right. I suppose you can call a bias towards finished product. Um, that's rational. That's rational. That's rational. You know, I, I, I'm not, I, I don't have any problem with what he said there um, at all. Uh, fifth, I do disagree that it's the customer's duty to make sure that makers of the product put out good stuff. Yes. SC is different in that it's crowdfunded, but after a long while, at some point, SC should be treated like any other product. It's not the duty of the customers to give a fuck why the product is bad. If it's bad, it's bad. See, and this is where I think I disagree with him a lot. I, you know, like a lot of people could look at this game and say, oh, because it's crowdfunded, there's no time limit, right? And they look at it as the glass half empty. And they see all the negative things that come with a purely crowdfunded uh, project, okay? Other people can look at the half glass full. I tend to like to look at it as the half glass full because I think that truly this type of um, funding for gaming is revolutionary and that could really change the gaming industry. So I like to look at it as a glass half full thing. Uh, and, and I love what it could do for the entire gaming industry. But yes, it does mean that time limits aren't imposed, which can be a good and bad thing. Um, so I understand where he's coming from in that line of thinking. Um, sixth, positive takes for most part are not mine. I go after critique. 
the lacking bit that has to be. So yeah, so he's 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 admitting like, hey, I'm pro- I'm focusing on being skeptical on my channel is what he's saying, uh, which is great. Fine. There's probably more positive takes out there, so I choose to focus on examining things in a harsher way. See, my thing is, is like I like to be rational about what it is I'm watching and and give you the pros and the cons, not just one or the other. And a lot of people would say, oh, BSDG, you are a white knight for Star Citizen. And I completely disagree. And and you can watch on my channel in the many, I have like 1,600 videos. You can see me talking trash just about Star Citizen as well. There, You know, there's, like, I just posted a highlight where I'm trashing on the physics because I'm, like, really upset with the physics. So I'm not, like, all white knight like everybody's painting me out to be lately, which is hilarious because there's always periods of time where I'm either a naysayer or I'm a white knight, you know, because people can only, you know, understand the the polar opposites and not, not the fact that there's an entire gray area in the middle that is composed of rational thinking, which I would like to think that I am part of that group. And so I, I like to focus on giving people pros and cons. Not just the pros, not just the cons, you know? So that's me. Um, seven, Yamix, elite, brain, dumb. It's odd that you have this preconception of what I seem to think, that ED is like the best for XYZ without me mentioning ED a single time. Just describing basics of SC and at most comparing to airplane flight sims, you immediately jump onto ED versus a C ship interior argument that shows your massive bias here, not only towards SC, but also generalizing others. It's not just SC. See, this is this is wrong. This is wrong. This is completely wrong. It's about the ability to have the inside of a ship. I wouldn't care what game it was. <laughs> I wouldn't care what game it was. It, 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 the fact that I have a ship that I can walk inside and I own it is cool as shit. The fact that you can like fly the ship in any direction, spin it around, do a loop in it, any atmosphere, uh, any planet or satellite, and have this experience with the ship is fucking awesome. It has nothing to do with Star Citizen. It's my bias towards video games, period. It has nothing to do with Star Citizen. So the same thing that he's accusing that I'm doing to him is the same thing he's doing to me here. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I don't I don't get that. So I disagree with Seven completely. Um, and if you guys are wondering why I'm skipping par- partially some of these points he's making, it's because of the time of the highlight. I don't want it to be crazy, ridiculous, because some people don't even know what's going on here. But I think it's great that Yamix took this much effort into replying to my reaction. I think that's awesome. <laughs> Um, and then I talked about holding of hands and how Frontier Development and David Brabin in Elite Dangerous loves to hold the hands of all the gamers and make them have the safest experience. And he says on number eight, his eighth point, speaking of not holding your hand, grr, I could rant on about this forever, both good and bad, both how companies abuse the principle and how players fail to understand it as well. More often, though, devs abuse this the most. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I actually agree with that a lot. Uh, number nine, player protection. Missing the point there. It's a massive topic that most MMO p- games deal with, the system of crime and punishment. Player protection. He says, I'm missing the point in, in player. Well, okay. I'm not quite sure what comments I made there in terms of that. It's a 34-minute video, and I just don't remember what I said in terms of that, so I can't really defend myself there. (laughs) But he says it's a massive topic that most MMO games deal with, systems of crime and punishment, ganking PvP and player protection, etc. How these systems should or should not work, how much and how well, but no. Then you literally going LOL, hand-holding, and climbing around when that was not the point. Dude, dude. My comments about like frontier development and holding hands is a valid point no matter what because it dictates the experience that we have with Elite Dangerous, period. It is what the, the experience is with Elite Dangerous, period. That is a huge point and should be taken with some level of skepticism and criticism in terms of what you say you are, Yamix. Like you really have to, you know, be honest with yourself and and look at that as one of the reasons why the game is dying because it's all elite and no danger. Uh, number ten, in terms of me calling, uh, uh, <laughs> in terms of me calling elite dangerous or ED erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Happy Friday, Astro Chronicles. We got one of your vids here. We're gonna watch here today that looks really interesting. So I'm looking forward to that. 
He says, ED, erectile dysfunction. God damn it. Great joke. What the fuck took me that long to realize the obvious joke? Fuck me. That's hilarious. Uh, I, I like that. I like that. I will applaud him. That's cool. I like the back and forth here. I like the back and forth. I, I like the fact that he took the time to comment to this, even though he's not a big fan of my low effort 34-minute uh, video, of which his video was 19 minutes, but okay. FDev making money of Jurassic games. A uh, slight correction, maybe. FDev are working on a few other upcoming licensed IP games. Looking into uh, financial reports, the second Jurassic game didn't do that well. He's right, it didn't. But um, it is their mainstay because it did bring in, uh, I think, the top amount of revenue for Frontier Development. Uh, it didn't do so good on the, on the next quarterly report. He is right. Uh, but again, they didn't really offer that much in terms of like, you know, additional content to be downloaded. I mean, they had they had actually the m most recent patch here, but I don't think it brought in a lot of money. So it's probably dying. Uh, they, they wanted to bring in more in conjunction with the movie that's coming out. You know what I mean? What's up, Brian? Welcome to the stream, bro. G glad to see you here, buddy. Uh, we're talking about the Yamix. We're talking about how Yamix has commented to my reaction to one of his videos. Uh, so we're we're talking about that right now. Um, burr, 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 burr. Anyway, he says looking into the financial reports of the second Jurassic game didn't do that well. It was okay, I guess. Also, really trying to be a publisher. Yeah, good luck, F Deb. Good luck. Yeah, I think he thinks the same as I do in that regards. EDVR support. They did not drop it. I don't know, didn't they? I mean, like. I don't see any future. Yeah, I, they did drop it. Uh, technically, since adding SRVs in 2016, maybe a little past it, the VR never got or needed obvious updates. So people thought that it still is uh, an active feature when in reality it was not. So he's saying it was never intended to be a feature, which is crazy and shows you exactly how Frontier Development and David don't listen to the player base because they love the experience and they wanted to continue it. And and what Yamix is saying is, well, that was never really meant to be there in the first place. Well, maybe it should be if the gamers were like, hell yes, we love this experience. I can't tell you how many fucking commanders are out there that talk to me and say, Jesus, DG, I can't believe they're fucking stopping the VR support with ED. It's like one of the best things about Elite Dangerous that was left. You know? Um... They simply announced that they were not adding anything, which really was spelling out the writing on the wall. Yes, but fair uh, enough, the VR thing did hit a lot of people indeed. Yes, it did. It did. It did. Again, my way of uh, talking, fair enough. It is what it is, and I try. Though I did watch your whole thing. That's that's awesome, and that's about it. Um, my honest takes... Wait, this is best. This is, this is where he's like, oh, before I go, I'm going to trash you. This is great. Hold on a second. This is great. Obviously, I think I struck a chord with Yamix. I don't think Yamix likes me. Uh, I don't think he cares. Like, honestly, content creators, we don't have the time to, you know? But it is cool uh, that it looks like I have struck a chord with the Yamix here. Uh, but he says, mildest takes I've ever seen of my work. It's the mildest. Like, you didn't even touch me. You didn't even hurt me. You didn't... You didn't even hurt me. <laughs> I wasn't trying to, dude. First off, why would you think I would take the effort to? <laughs> In the same manner that you're talking to me, why do you think I would take the effort to even worry about, like, coming across and being that? I wasn't even negative on the fucking video. I was just basically saying, hey, what I felt. I mean, you know, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um Myros takes I've seen of my work, which is a surprise, but hey, fair enough. Except not fair enough when you start attributing quality to someone you don't know and start to misinterpret what was presented. Hopefully this gives you a bit more insight. And let's see what the what the reaction here is. Um I I commented. I commented and I said I enjoyed the high effort answers to my low effort commentary on a recent video that brought about 13 points worth of amazingness. You know, for, for somebody who he's accusing of, you know, being... <laughs> for somebody who's accusing of having a low effort reaction to his video, when the video length of mine is 34 minutes and his is 19, which if you do the math, my, my video of, of commentary is literally 15 minutes long, okay? <laughs> uh, apparently, he thinks it's low effort, but like... For a low effort commentary that I gave, for that low effort commentary in the React that, that I gave, uh, apparently he didn't think that much of it, and that's why he wrote a book. A book, Yamix. You, you wrote me a book, dude. <laughs> Just saying, dude. I appreciate, first off, let me say, I appreciate the fact that he had the balls to come on here 
uh, and comment. That I will applaud. You don't have to agree with somebody to appreciate them. In fact, I think I appreciate Yamex that much more. You know, it seems like a good it seems like a good debate to have, which needs to happen a lot more. You know, like civil debates on YouTube need to happen a hell of a lot more. It could be fun. It could be friendly. It could be fun. Uh, I don't like to when shit gets ugly. Uh, but you know, hey, whatever. I don't know. This segment is running long. <laughs> right. So see, this is what you get on my low effort commentary videos. People literally on this video right now that I am reacting to his comment that's 13 points are literally saying right now, it's too much. You need to stop. Like, DJ, you need to stop. So apparently, you know, the chat here thinks maybe I'm putting too much effort in. I'm putting too much effort in. Next. <laughs> 